What's going on guys, welcome back to LOI Fan TV and yes, game week one has concluded. And I think this will be a new weekly segment we do on the channel of a five minute round of a quick fire roundup of each of the games in the Premier Division. Let me know if you like the concept by dropping a like on the video down below. If you can hit 50 likes that'd be great and make sure to subscribe. But yeah, let's jump straight into it by heading down to Turner's Cross as newly promoted Cork played host to Bohemians. Bohemians get off to the perfect start. True, Grant Horton, a uh, really, really well worked corner. Uh, Ali Coote worked it really well to the byline, clipped it across and there's a super header by Grant Horton to make it 1-0 and then Jordan Flores um, won the ball back in the second half and he had a crack from distance and it was straight at the keeper Toby Oluwayemi and it was phew, disappointing it has to be said rip up the contract and send them back to Scotland no money joking he's only a young fella but yeah really really poor from him he'd be disappointed by that Rory Keating pulled one back late on through a terrible error by James Talbot but yeah a lot of a lot of lessons to learn for Cork City in this one next up in Oriel Park we had Dundalk who were held 1-1 by UCD a really disappointing one for the home side they did miss a penalty early on Pat Hoban had his penalty saved by Lorcan Healy really really good save down to his left but yeah Dundalk were on top for the rest of the first half probably and earned their lead through John Martin a nice left footed finish second half though UCD were more than worth their point um, Kieran Behan with an outrageously good free kick a lovely left footed strike into the top right corner Nathan Shepard got a hand to it but couldn't keep it out and UCD actually pushed for the, the winner towards the end as well and actually got on top so yeah well worth the point and surprise one down at Oriel Park. A trip to Tucker Park next and yeah Shelburne nil, Drogheda United nil. I was at this game myself and yeah uh, from a Shell's point of view 100% two points dropped. Damien Duff said it himself after the game. Um, Drogheda started both halves reasonably well they actually had a quite a good chance in the first half um, I can't remember who it was when Clean threw on goal and put it over the bar tried to lob the keeper but yeah the big big talking point from the game Sean Boyd does really well chases down the defender runs clean through on goal squares it to Maddie Smith the goal is at his mercy he has to put it in he has to give Shelburne the lead no he puts it wide he scuffs it wide it's a shocking miss it's one that you can't really like ever really get over it's, it's one that like haunts you when you're going to sleep at night it's really really poor from Maddie Smith he will get over it he, he went on to try and have a good game tried to influence the game but that's one of those that just doesn't leave your head it just sticks with you um, Shelburne huffed and puffed centre second half um, I think Paddy Barrett hit the bar as well but just couldn't break through a resolute draw to defence you have to give them their credit as well they, they defended quite well and, and kept their shape but yeah for Shells it's definitely two points dropped next up a top of the table clash more or less two sides you probably expect to be in the top three come the end of the season St Pat's won Derry City won Derry definitely started the better of the two sides had the better of the first half a good few chances for them Joe Redmond headed one off the line after a poor mistake by Odomosu and goal um, Mike Onagle had a decent strike one or two others as well eventually found the break tr breakthrough through Jordan McAneff kind of a driving run through midfield got into the box probably too easy got in there and kind of nearly kind of scuffed it into the ground and up and over the keeper um, a good finish from McAneff but yeah I'm not sure I took a deflection but yeah a good run and a good finish from McAneff to put Derry in the lead and um, second half Mulraney came on for Pats the big the big signing for them and he looks a real player great delivery um, set pieces it's generally lovely left foot he'll be a, a smash and smash and signing for them he looked really really promising but looked like Derry were kind of going to be able to like kind of mount the pressure and, and see it out for a win but 88-89 minutes the corner from Pats and it kind of bounced off Joe Redmond and into the back of the net for a vital point for them um, and they pushed on the last couple of minutes for a winner but couldn't find it a share of the spoils at inch corner I don't think either side would be over disappointed with that I think it's a decent result for both sides especially in the first day of the season as well it's a little bit tentative and you don't want to lose any ground early doors and then finally we had the game on Saturday Sligo Rovers playing host to Shamrock Rovers a really really good game here plenty of action goals red cards the lot and um, yeah Rovers Steph Shamrock Rovers that is definitely started on the front foot um, a lot of good chances and eventually broke the deadlock through Graham Burke an excellent excellent goal maybe a little bit soft defensively could have closed them in a little bit quicker but yeah it's a fantastic goal from a quality quality player um, and Rovers kind of got into half time happy enough then second half um, where Sligo were starting to get a little bit back on top right? we kind of end to end both teams having a few chances then Pico Lopez big big moment in the game he gets sent off it's a little bit soft but he raises his hand to an opposition player and pushes him in the face it's it, the referees give him very little choice it's very very poor from an, an experienced player like Pico Lopez he's been around he knows he knows the story he knows the rules that like he can't do that and it's a bit disappointing one from him he'll be disappointed himself for that because it is silly especially one up in a game as well and um, to give Sligo that advantage going into the last 25 minutes or so and they definitely took advantage of it they were well on top lots of chances balls in the box the works I think they actually had a penalty claim turned down at one point that I thought definitely looked like a penalty I think Dylan Watts went into the back of Caelan Barlow and um, so yeah definitely got away with one 
one there and the pressure eventually led to something in the last minute of the game corner into the box and I felt I think it was Nugent for Shamrock Rovers and this is nearly unforgivable how bad the clearance was he has the ball drops him in the box he can put it anywhere in the pitch boot it out of play boot it into Rosette wherever kicks it straight to Browning on the edge of the box and he takes nothing away from the finish it's a cracking finish but from a Stephen Bradley Shamrock Rovers point of view you'd be screaming at him you wouldn't let him back in the bus after the game nearly it's that bad such a poor clearance but yeah great finish from Sligo and well worth their point in the end well there you have it guys a quick 5 minute roundup from the Premier Division in the League of Ireland this week game week 1 over and done with what did you make of it let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed the video and this format make sure to drop a like down below as well and yeah make sure to subscribe is much appreciated thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in a little bit